Hello, this is Coffee Break with Ninita, a daily guide of coping skills that gets us through by making us strong. We have said thoughts and feelings that are not being addressed and checked become assumptions. And when the assumptions are not discussed, shared for discussion, they become beliefs. And afterwards, those beliefs become the source of the energy we bring out in our behaviors. So thoughts and feelings turn to assumptions that turn to beliefs that become the energy that controls our behaviors. What I just described is exactly what we all do when we are in a place we feel there is no order. There is no structure. And this is how we bring our very own order and structure through our behaviors. When do we do that? When we are not having a life structure with routines and rituals, we pretty much have no boundaries and we do not have the ability of waiting, having patience, or tolerating, having endurance. We believe that being able to get what we want and reach our goals fast is a sign of strength. The truth is that the strength is not present in the goal itself. The strength develops slowly, very, very slowly during the journey that starts from little things, little, not significant things that are far from the goal. And they are there, those steps are there to help us develop patience and to be able to endure being far from the ultimate goal we set. These are the seeds, patience and endurance, of success. So that when we arrive, when we reach the goal, we are anchored in ways that we can float and survive both chaos, chaotic situations, and order. In chaotic situations, we bring forward our own coping skills that become our anchors. And in orderly situation, we flow, following the order that comes from it without being defensive. What I mentioned before about thoughts and feelings turning into assumptions that turn into beliefs, that turn into the source of energy that controls the behavior is usually not present in a successful journey. Or if they're present, they're very briefly present. Assumptions, beliefs, and acting out behaviors become the bridge that connects me now and my goal when I face the fact that I have to wait, that I have to be patient, the fact that there are challenges and difficulties I never thought I would face. So when I am not prepared with patience and endurance, then I fall into that stressful situation that forced me to anchor myself with hurt, anger, loneliness, and frustration. But when I'm willingly prepared to quote-unquote waste time and experience disappointments as a part of the journey, which will help me, those disappointments and delays develop patience and endurance, 
assumptions, beliefs, and acting out are not existing because they're not serving. They don't provide anything we're looking for that will help us. Therefore, those little talks we have, are they important? There are five, ten minutes. Some of them might be redundant. Some of them might have no value for you. True. However, they are there to build patience and endurance that you can use as you are traveling your journey to reaching your goals while you're going through the disappointments and delays, which is part of the nature of that journey. Please leave your comments and suggestions on Facebook or email us on stayhall at gmail.com. Until tomorrow, stay well and God bless you.